Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021. So Happy New Year Virgo. Um, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and I hope you enjoy your new year as well. So let's pull some cards and see what we get for you i'm doing a mini reading this week because like you know i'm sure you can understand between christmas and new year it's always a little bit hectic but i did want to get something out to you it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always if it's meant to resonate it still will so what do we have for virgo please angel spirits guides for the week what does virgo need to hear the most please for the week thank you oh that's your card okay so we have the king of pentacles in your challenge position i mean this is taurus generally for me as a reader but it could be virgo energy male or female it is a general reading king of swords is advice from spirit and outcome is the seven of swords okay Bottom of the deck, Virgo, we have the Ten of Swords. So let's clarify these two kings. Starting with the King of Pentacles, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles in the challenge position. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles in the challenge position. There's too many there, too many. Just one card please for Virgo, thank you, thank you, okay. So I have the card of Virgo, the Hermit and the Ten of Wands with this King of Pentacles. And let's clarify this King of Swords. clarify this king of swords please which is generally aquarius for me as a reader okay so we have justice and the king of swords and the seven of swords let's pull one for that too okay Virgo, it feels in this situation that there's karma here. Now, generally when there's two kings, it can be two people in your life or you and another person. Um, can also be the energy of what they represent. In this situation, Virgo, we have the king of pentacles. So there's definitely an energy here of, I mean, sometimes male or female energy, the kings in general readings, but there's an energy of somebody who, I mean, it can sometimes be the traditional provider, uh, breadwinner, you know, that kind of energy, um, head of household energy, that kind of energy as well. Um, Germany represents somebody who's stable, secure, uh, certainly in terms of relationships, built something solid, stable, secure for a long period of time. In business, it's somebody who is a successful leader, very practical, pragmatic, understands how to create wealth, success, you know, by harnessing their own skills and experience. So for some of you, you have been in what it can either be in relationship or in money and career, this situation, because they've caused you burdens. They've caused you a heavy load and some healing because the hermit is you. 
So it feels like you've been carrying a heavy load with this person, but it's coming to an end because the Ten of Wands is a completion card. And I have two tens in this reading, so something is completing, something is coming to a close in this situation. Yeah. Um, the Hermit is a wonderful energy of how you shine the light within. You illuminate, you find illumination on how you need to move forward in your external world by finding answers and direction from within first. So it's a great energy of introspection, soul searching, even taking some quiet time out to deal with the situation as well. You know, it can well be about just having your own solitary time to reflect, to heal, to come to terms with something and then find the solution, make sound judgment calls. Um, that's what the Hermit does so well. It is aligning your internal energy with how you need to move forward in your external world because you're being guided by source. That lamp in the, the star in the lamp is illumination from source, from God, the divine, the universe. So you are being illuminated in this time of feeling a lot of burdens, a lot of strain, a lot of pressure. It could either be, like I said, in terms of money career, changes in terms of, or burdens in terms of money career, finances, it can also be to do with a person this is like a Taurus energy. It could well be for some of you, you're dealing with a fellow earth sign or somebody who embodies those energies. There's definitely an energy from spirit of karma, justice. You're going to get justice. Um, this is the right thing. Truth will out. The right, right will, wrongs will be righted. It's the energy of if you've been dealing with legal situations, matters of the law, in either situation, like I said, money, career, or to do with relationships or other situations here, Virgo, it is a general reading. It is an energy of somebody might be giving you some sound advice or somebody has your back. I mean, that could be um, a a barrister, a lawyer, a solicitor, I mean, you know, it might well be you're seeking some professional help and guidance, you know, that kind of energy. And it's somebody who, so it could well be that you're, you're getting some, you've been getting some um, maybe legal support here as well in a situation. And sometimes that justice card can be the decision that restores balance that's in the light of truth. There's something about honour and integrity in this reading, the honourable and right thing is happening now, is being restored. Um, there's definitely an energy of truth is on your side, karma is on your side. If you've been treated poorly by somebody in a situation, and you're getting legal advice or legal support, there's definitely some kind of decision that truth will out. Um, wrongs will be righted. The honourable and right thing will prevail. You know, it's that kind of energy. So for some of you, it feels balance will be restored. It feels to do with a legal situation here. I have to say for some of you, The king, the king of Swords is, is all about truth and fairness and the right thing. So, and definitely the, the justice energy is about doing the right thing. Actions have consequences. And there's definitely an energy between these two energies of your honor and integrity is restored in this situation by maybe some kind of legal decision because someone's getting karma, I have to say. Um, yeah, someone is getting karma here. And I'm not surprised when I see the Ten of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Uh, there's definitely an energy of the universe will right wrongs. The universe will, restores bal will, restores bal will restore balance. I can't speak. Um, 
what goes around comes around. And again, that Wheel of Fortune is good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, things going in your favour, um, obstacles being removed. As one door closes, another one opens. It's a lovely, lovely energy of expansion of opportunity of things beginning to open up for you but it feels like there's a powerful turning point for you this week and it's karmic it's a karmic turning point because virgo i you know this energy is this is over this is a 10 and what this is doing this justice is restoring balance is restoring order universal order truth justice um and the ten of swords is whatever pain upset hurt loss betrayal uh being stabbed in the back all of these kind of things i mean there's levels to this card but it's never a, it's never a good energy but it's a ten it's completed it's run its course there are shifts available to you now and again, that Seven of Swords is an energy of deception, lack of truth. Um, there's a sense of being, there's a sense of covertness as well about this. There's a sense of dealing with some shadowy energy. But there's definitely an energy of if there has been some deception, lies, lack of truth, or someone tried to deceive the courts, someone wasn't completely fully uh, open to do with legal issues, legal matters, it's going to come out. Because this is, there's a new day, a new dawn rising, pushing away the darkness now. Allow the endings to happen and embrace the good fortune that's coming your way. Good luck, powerful turning point. So for some of you, it feels like a very powerful time in the next week um, because there's definitely an energy of someone's going to get their comeuppance. Whoever has put a lot of burden, a lot of strain on you, there's definitely an energy of karmic retribution, justice, all of that kind of thing, the, the scales of the universe being rebalanced, readdressed, truth will out. It feels a very powerful reading, Virgo, I have to say, for somebody. So let me pull a final card, Virgo, and see what we have for you. Final message for Virgo, please. Very powerful reading for somebody. Okay, I like this energy. We have Flamingo, Unity Heart. You are being called on to work on collective healing. Unity Heart, you are being called on to work on collective healing. It just feels for some of you, now is the time to do the right thing for you. It feels like you will soon be able to draw a line under a situation that hasn't been fair but it feels like the universal balance is being readdressed here so it feels very very positive from that respect so lovely energy virgo i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all happy new year and i will see you next time thank you